Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sako coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription. Welcome. We want to pray and then we'll hear the word of the King. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, we thank you and we bless you this morning. We appreciate because of your goodness and mercy. Father, this morning we ask as we share your word that you will speak to us you'll bless our hearts and that your name will be lifted. We want to ask that, Lord, there'll be no confusion or interruption as we go forth to hear your voice. These we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Good morning, wherever you are. God bless you. God bless you. The subject of my message this morning is Appear in our time, O Lord. Appear in our time, O Lord. I want us to read the Bible in the book of Habakkuk, chapter number 3 and verse number 1 and 2. The book of Habakkuk, prophet Habakkuk, chapter number 3, verse number 1 and verse number 2. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet, on Shiginoth. O Lord, I have heard your speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. Let's read from another translation. This prayer was sung by the prophet Habakkuk. I have heard all about you, Lord. I am filled with awe by your amazing works. In this, deep, in this time of our deep need, Help us again, as you did in years gone by, in your anger, remember mercy. One more translation, good news translation. Let's see what it says. This is a prayer of the prophet Habakkuk. O Lord, I have heard of what you have done, and I'm filled with awe. Now, do again in our times the great deeds you used to do. Be merciful even when you are angry. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, the prophet is very clear in his prayer to God. Number one, if there is anything that has angered God, he's pleading with God to have mercy even if he's angry about the deeds of the people. And our God has always been a merciful God. God says, I have found a man after my own heart. And he's talking about David. And if you read the book of Psalms, chapter number 51, then you would appreciate why God refers to David as a man after his own heart. He was quick. He says, a broken and a contrite spirit that you will not despise. That is in uh, the book of Psalms, chapter number 31. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, the Bible tells us then that the prophet is saying, revive your works in our times. Do again in our times the great deeds you used to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Do the great things that you used to do in our time. He says, I have heard what you have done and I'm filled with awe. It is true that when you look at the life we, in the history of the Bible, we have seen fundamental things that God did in the olden days. A God full of, of power. A God full of grace, a God full of mercy, a powerful God, a powerful God, a God who had the power and ability to save, to transform. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Actually, the, the reference I was making about David that God will not despise a contrite and a broken spirit is in Psalms 51 and not 31. Psalms 51 and not 31. Praise the name of the Lord. You can read the entire bit of it and you can see why God refers to David as a man after his own heart. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now, now the prophet Habakkuk says, I have heard about the things you did in the olden days, and I'm full of awe, the fear of God. Revive those things in our time. That's why I'm saying we want God to appear in our situation now in the name of Jesus Christ. We are asking God to appear in your situation in this season, in this time. 
We want God to show up in your life. We want God to lift you. We want God to guide you. We want God to bless you. We want God to, uh, to excite you in the knowledge of his understanding and will that the Lord will appear in your heart. I mean, it's one thing for God to send help your way, either using people around you or using the situation or using the heavenly host to come and, and stand for you, like the, the prayer of Daniel, where the angel was given a, an answer to the prayer that Daniel prayed, but he was withheld by the prince of the power of Persia until another angel was sent to come and deliver the other angel to deliver the answer. So that's another dimension where God uses uh, either individuals or the heavenly host to present your answer. It's another thing for God to show up himself, to show up himself. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we are asking this morning that the Lord will appear in our situation, will appear in our season. In this season, in this dispensation, we are believing God to show up in our moment in Jesus' name. I'm, a, I'm desirous of the fact that when God appears, we are going to conquer. The Bible tells us if God be on our side, who can be against us? We are then more than conquerors. That means conquering is an understatement. We are going to be more than conquerors. I don't know what challenge you're facing, child of God. I don't know things that are bothering you. I don't know what is your current situation today. But I want to declare to you in the name of Jesus Christ that our God is appearing in your situation in this season, in this dispensation, God is appearing. I know there are things you have tried before. Probably they have not worked. I know you have made attempt, attempts to deliver a lot of things. Now, I, I keep getting shocked about what God does. I, 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 for one, have had a motivation to continue to speak the word of God daily. But I have never, you know, even uh, uh, fathomed the, the extent to which this word goes around. And I meet people many times. Yesterday, I met a lady who said, I have seen you somewhere. And, and, and that's not the first time that people have spoken to me about this message we keep doing every morning. Then I got a man who said, yeah, I, I, I want and I'll keep consistently supporting this ministry because you are a blessing to the world. Now, this is not for my own glory. It is because of the zeal, the determination that God has laid in my heart. I want this God we're talking about to have an impact in the lives of people. I want this God to bless you. I want this God to lift you up. I want this God to show himself in your life that you can glorify him in all your ways in your family, in your business, in your ministry, whatever you do, it's my desire that this God will appear in your life and cause a significant change in your life. That is the reason why we consistently and constantly share the word of God every morning. It has been four years now and counting, but we thank God that this is not the doing of man. It is the doing of God. Why do I say so? Because I have seen and I've experienced many people being blessed by God about this thing we talk about every day. It is for this reason I come to you again to ask that we may put an environment for God to appear in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. If you keep your heart clear, if you put your house clean, if you I'm talking about the temple of I mean the, the tabernacle of the Holy Spirit, which is your body, if you keep it clean, clear, let God come and have an abode in you, let God come and stay in you, so you can be able to deliver the objective that God has for you. Is my prayer, is my desire this morning that God will ultimately move in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. I also desire that the Lord will establish his grace and his power in your life in a mighty way. And this good Lord will bless you. He will lift you. He will guide you and he will honor every promise he has spoken concerning your life. I, I can tell you for a fact that there's something God has done in the spiritual realm. He's changing your dimension. He's changing your perspective. It's my prayer and desire that this God will be highly lifted in your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. The good Lord, therefore, bless you. The good Lord, be with you. The good Lord, guide you. The good Lord, bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you and we honor you. We ask him that, Lord, you will appear in our situation and that our lives will never, ever 
be the same again. I want to honor you this morning. I want to lift you. I want to glorify your name, Elohim, and to give you all glory and honor. This we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The good Lord bless you. This has been your host, Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the scriptural prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The scriptural prescription continues to run every morning for the glory and the name of the Lord. The good Lord therefore be with you and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning by the grace of God. Thank you for finding time to follow this program. I believe you're blessed. I believe you're lifted in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you and have a wonderful day as God appears in your life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.